salute you once again to encourage you to speak to your conscience and to tell you that you can conquer fear just like Dino Melaye has conquered fear. You can conquer anxiety, you can conquer temptation, you can conquer trials, you can conquer trouble, you can even conquer diagnosis from medical experts. You don't have to remain down, you have to get up now, shake off your problems, shake up your trials, and be above your problems. You have no say on what happened to you, but I can assure you that you have a say on what to do about what happens to you. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% of what you do about what happened to you. Look at the mirror. Just look at the mirror and encourage yourself and say, I have got nobody else to encourage me right now but me. Only you can encourage you. Only you can give you impetus. Only you can give you the energy you need to conquer the problems, difficulties, and challenges of life. It is not about what is happening around you. It is actually about what is happening inside you. It's not about what's happening around you. It's about what is happening right now inside you. And just because you feel afraid doesn't mean you have to be afraid. Yeah. Just because you feel discouraged doesn't mean you have to be discouraged. Don't, just because you feel intimidated doesn't mean you have to feel intimidated. Just because you have fear doesn't mean fear has to have you. So I'm saying you have to develop the spirit of can do. The I can do spirit must be indoctrinated, must be imbibing you. You must shake off your problems, shake off your difficulties, shake off your trials, shake off even diagnosis from medical experts. And say to yourself, look yourself in the mirror and say, come, I shake it off. Why? Man, people have gone through challenges, people have gone through trials, people have gone through problems. You are better than your challenges. You are stronger than your problems. You are above every fear and anxiety that is around you. And I'm saying all you need to do is to stop saying this. And the things you should stop saying from today, mark them, say them, and, and sorry, and stop saying them. Stop saying it's enough. Stop saying, I'm not going to make it. Stop saying, I will quit. Stop saying, let's get a divorce. Stop saying, I am a failure. Stop saying, I make too many mistakes. Stop saying, nobody can help me. Stop saying, I have done too many bad things. Stop saying, what you confess, my dear, or declare, becomes so in your life. So whatever you declare... Whatever you declare is what becomes of your life. So I want you today to know that you need to stop saying all those things. You need to stop encouraging bitterness in your life. Speak a life sentence and not a death sentence. Speak a life sentence and not a death sentence. Stop saying and never say again that I am finished. Never say again that I have been used. Instead, you should be saying, I'm getting up. I cannot fail. The righteousness, or you begin to say things like, the righteous man, he falls seven times, but he gets back on his feet. Begin to say, I will never give up. Begin to say, I will never give in. I say to you, you are bigger than your pains and you are better than your worries. Say, I'm going to leave to tell the story. Say it and mean it. These two shall pass away. These are the lively statements you should be making. Pain is not permanent, my brother, my sister, my uncle, my friends. Pain is temporal. And not just temporal, it is evaporative. 
If I conquer difficulties, challenges, fear, death, assassination attempt, poverty, lack, hatred from people, you too can conquer them. But you cannot conquer without persevering. You cannot conquer without standing your grounds. You cannot stand. You cannot conquer without challenging the status quo. You cannot conquer without making a resolute determination that I can make it, and surely you will. And above all, take this to the Lord. The Holy Spirit will definitely energize you because it teaches us everything. God bless you as you walk out of fear. God bless you as you walk out of intimidation. God bless you as you wear, I mean, as you walk out of anxiety, as you walk out of fear. It has held so many back and it has stolen many destinies. Don't allow your destiny, your promotion, your expansion, your development in life to be stolen by fear and fear of the unknown. You are a strong person. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are gorgeous. You shall not die but leave. You will come out of it. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to click on subscribe button. Kindly comment and share. We drop new videos daily. Thank you. God bless you.